Okay, in this video, we are going to look into loading and running MicroPython on the STM Discovery board. Now, this board is running the STM32F407 ARM microcontroller. Now, there are two USB connectors on this board. There's a mini USB connector and there's a micro USB connector. Now, the mini USB connector feeds power to the board. It feeds 5 volts to power the whole board. Now, when the board is powered up, the micro will auto boot its demo program, which is written in MicroPython, and it will turn on four LEDs in sequence with a one second interval between them, and then the last LED will blink. So I'm going to power up the board, and you can see the little demo program boot up. You can see the four LEDs come on with a one second interval, and then the last LED blink. So here's my code. I have four LED objects labeled LED 4, 3, 2, and 1, and I'm turning on each LED in sequence with a one second delay between them. Then I create another object called LED 3, and I put that in a while true loop, it's a constant loop, and I toggle LED 3 every second, and that will blink my LED. Now I could also auto boot my program with a reset switch. I have my reset button, this black button here, if I press it and release it. It will boot my program. So you can see that four LEDs come on. Then the last LED will blink. So all you need to get started is a discovery board and then download MicroPython from the website micropython.org and it's a free download. Okay, here's the MicroPython website. So just do a search for micropython.org and this is the download page. So scroll down to the bottom Look for the discovery board it's at the very bottom. So there's firmware for other boards. You can see STM32F4 discovery board. And the top one is the newest version. So click that and that will download into your computer. And you can save it on your desktop or any file folder of your choice. Okay, so now we have the MicroPython software downloaded onto our computer. Now we have to take that file and upload it into the microcontroller on the discovery board. So the MicroPython software is a .dfu file, device firmware upgrade, and to upload a .dfu file into the microcontroller, we use the micro USB connector with the .dfu bootloader enabled. Now to enable the .dfu bootloader on the microcontroller, we do that by installing the boot zero jumper, as you can see here, it ties the boot zero pin to VDD. Now on the back of the discovery board, there are two spare jumpers, and you can use one of those jumpers install it on the boot zero pin and then we power up the board using the mini USB connector now we can upload the DFU file through the micro USB connector using software called Defuse which is a free download from STM Microelectronics. Now after we upload the DFU file into the microcontroller we remove the jumper press the reset button and now MicroPython will be running on the discovery board. Okay I have Defuse up and running on my computer. Now this is a free download from ST Microelectronics. And this software is used to upload a DFU file into the discovery board. Now I have my discovery board powered up with my boot zero jumper installed and I have my micro USB connector connected to my computer. If you look at the very top, it says STM device in DFU mode, so it actually sees my discovery board. So if I go down to choose, now I choose my DFU file. And you can see it says file correctly loaded, so it's ready to program the DFU file into the microcontroller. So I hit the upgrade button and hit yes. Now it's going to start programming the .dfu file into the microcontroller using the DFU bootloader. Now after it's finished uploading the DFU file into the microcontroller, then I remove the boot zero jumper and hit the reset button. And then MicroPython will be running on the discovery board. So you can see at the very bottom it says upgrade successful. So now my DFU file has been programmed into the microcontroller and I can run MicroPython on my discovery board. Okay, I have MicroPython uploaded into my discovery board. So now when I hit the reset button on the discovery board, it will look like a flash drive to my computer. So I'll mm -hmm. hit the reset button. 
And there's my flash drive. It's drive H. You can see I could open folder to view files. So if we open the folder, you can see we have four files. The first one is boot.py. That's going to run at boot time, which will run import machine, import PYB, and we'll run our program, our main program, main.py. And main.py is the second file. You could use notepad. This is where you write your code. So you write your code in this file, save it, and that will be saved in the microcontroller. And then on a reset or boot up, power boot up, it will run your program. The next file is a driver. Now if you're running Windows 7, you need to load this driver to enable the MicroPython Serial Interactive Console. If you have Windows 10, you won't need this driver, but if you have Windows 7, you'll need to load this driver. And if you go to the next file, the README file, it'll actually tell you how to do that using Device Manager and how to upload this driver if you're using Windows 7. So that's our little flash drive now that's on our discovery board. So all we have to do is use Notepad, write our program in the main.py, save it, and then when we power up or reset discovery board, this program will run. Okay, next, we're going to look at the MicroPython Interactive Serial Console. But before we do that, I just want to mention a few things. Now, if you don't have two USB ports on your computer, you could actually power the discovery board through the micro USB connector alone without using the mini USB connector by adding this jumper. This jumper is from PA9 up to 5 volts on the bus. So it takes the power pin on the USB connector, on the micro USB connector, which is PA9, and jumpers it over to the 5 volts, which will run the whole board. Now second, if you ever want to pull out this connector, this USB connector, you first have to eject drive H before you pull out this connector, or else you'll, you'll uh, corrupt your, your flash drive. So eject drive H until you see save to remove hardware, then you can remove this USB connector from the board. Now third, you notice my LED is not blinking. I took out that blink loop so we could actually gain access to the MicroPython interactive serial console. Now if you ever corrupt the flash drive on the microcontroller, you, you could fix that by using the two buttons, by using the reset button and the user button. If you press the reset button and then hold down the user button and then re release the reset button, it goes into a flash mode. Now if I release the user button, when both LEDs are on, it will actually restore my flash drive to factory defaults. So I wait until both LEDs come on, then I'll release uh, the button. So in there now, the flash drive has been put back to its factory defaults. So if you ever corrupt your, uh, your flash drive, you could go through that sequence. Okay, I got my discovery board powered up and it's connected to my computer. And I'm running a serial terminal program called TerraTerm. And I'm connected to the MicroPython interactive serial, serial console. If I hit enter, you can see I get a prompt. So we could do some testing at the prompt. We could go two plus three, get five, we go 8 divided by 4, 2.0, so it's floating point. We can do some exponential calculations. We go 2 to the third power, get 8. We can look at our help. So this is an overview of commands for the board. You can see there you could create LED objects, pin objects, and at the bottom you have some control commands. So it's a good start with this quick overview of commands for the board. And if you go online to the micropython.org, you get a tutorial that will go through these commands and you can start programming in MicroPython.